everybody, Steph here and today what we're going to do is show you, as it says on the box, a Parker pen. It comes in this outer box and you can see it's also got to the back there, Parker pen com. And if we take it out of the, the outer box, let's pop it there, pop the outer case to one side. And again it's telling us we have a Parker, Parker pen. Now let's open the box and there we have it. Again to the back it's telling it's a Parker. And what we have here is a Parker Sonnet in chiselled tartan GT, or if you like, gold trim. Or is it? If we just close the box and show you underneath, I'm hoping you can see that. Everything is written in Chinese. So, if we open the box again, what we have is a fake Parkersonic chiseled tartan GT fountain pen. Now, let's take the pen out of the box. Now, I recently went to a recent um, to a pen shop just to check out the, the boxes, if you like. Now, the the, the latest boxes today, um, the inside here, although it's this this sort of goldy beige colour is actually, it's actually like a felt colour. Whereas what we have here is this quite a shiny, if you like, it's like a silk, silk material. So, first of all, the box is a giveaway. Also, um, again I noticed that the latest boxes are a lot wider. This is a lot narrower. Now, whether they did one years ago this narrow, I do not know. Again, if anyone wants to give, give us a little bit more information on these fake pens, then please do so. You know, the information will be more than welcome. Now, if we open the cover there, what you also get with these pens is Parker instructions. Again, we've got Chinese writing everywhere. And the frightening thing about it is look at that. New All Rubbermaid, which again for you people that don't know, are actually the people now that sort of distribute or make Parker pens. Well, not just Parker, but along with sort of Waterman's and well, numerous other other manufacturers. Again, we've got the Parker instruction manual. Again, in well, we've got Chinese, but we've also got it in different languages here. So maybe nothing unusual there. To the back there we've got New All Rubbermaid again and it's got the after sales address in France where again for you people that are not aware pens are now made in France. So one of the giveaways again is this particular box here, this very shiny silk like material. Um, as I say, as far the, the newer ones today are actually, uh, they're like a sort of a felt felt material. Also, I don't know if you can actually see it, the quality of this particular print here, well, it's it's not that not, not that good. So let's pop that to one side there and let's show you the pen. So this is the pen here, as I say, in fact what we'll do, let's pop that to one side. As I say, this particular model is supposed to be the Parker Sonnet uh, in chiseled tartan and again GT because it's got the gold the gold trim here but as we say this is a fake sonnet the first thing unfortunately from looking on online you'll be find it very difficult to tell whether it's real or fake um, in this particular circumstance what you need to do is actually look look with your with your eyes close up and to some extent with your fingers basically it doesn't feel right some of the other things that sort of give it away is, again, the pattern. Although it's the correct pattern, let's try and give it you as close as possible. It's, again, the quality is not there. Another giveaway, let's just show you the, the cap band there. As you can see, let's keep it as still as possible, because we need to show you it close up. You'll see that it says... Parker and again I'm hoping you can see it I don't know how how good my macro is but the quality is simply not there 
and again if we turn it round slightly there you go it's got sonnet and again let's keep it as still as possible and just give it a slight turn because again you can see the quality of the engraving is not there and again if we take it a little bit further round <laughs> there we go France so it says France on the pen but Chinese on the box and again let's keep it nice and still the quality of the engraving is simply not there another thing that may give it away <coughs> excuse me is these two bands to the top of the cap there all the other sonnets that I've looked at of the tartan just have a single band to the top there and as you can see this one's actually got two if we show you the feather clip there the feather clips again although they look very good they just don't feel right and if you look at it very close up they don't look right either and again if we take you to the very top of the cap there you can see it's got the the normal stud which is correct for this particular pen but again let's just keep it nice and still I don't know if you can actually see but to the left hand side there you can actually see remnants of glue now I think if this was actually a proper Parker pen you won't be actually looking at sort of remnants of glue on the pen maybe occasionally you might find some but as you can see just to the left there there's a little bit of glue so again very difficult to tell a very good fake if we take the cap off there and show you the pen again all in all intents and purposes looks like a genuine Parker Sonnet fountain pen let's just show you the the section there again we've got the normal black section and we take you up to the nib there now again I need to keep it very still one thing you'll notice as far as I'm I'm aware on this particular model it's actually a, it's supposed to be a two-tone nib whereas on this particular pen it's actually a single tone gold colored nib and again what it actually has is Parker uh, it's got 18 carat 750 let's try and bring it a little bit closer I'm hoping it'll actually there we go I'm hoping it'll focus but it's got 18 carat 750 and then to the right I'm um, again you can actually see it's got the triangle now the triangle inside has what what seems to look like a P and a W which in some cases is correct on some pens but not for this particular pen the engraving on the nib is very light it's not as deep as a proper Parker Sonnet nib if we show you sideways version show you the the feed underneath which is this sort of comb feed and again another giveaway let's keep it as still as possible I'm hoping you can actually see to the just to the top there it has the F for fine again with these particular pens if it's a fine medium broad be it whatever that particular little engraving just to the top of the um, the feed is very bad it's not as clear not as crisp as it is on a proper Parker pen another little giveaway if we actually unscrew this particular nib again I checked it with a pen at a local pen with a, you know a pen shop and if you look at the the threads to the end of the feed there they're quite broad whereas the genuine one is, is quite tighter or, or yeah it's a tighter thread if you like whereas on this one it's quite a broad thread let's try and keep it again nice and still so you can see it and in general the whole feed doesn't look and doesn't feel and it doesn't have the quality of a genuine Parker Parker feed let's show you the nib let's give it a twirl again very close up there's little things that you can notice just to the side of the of the nib there it's very square whereas on the ones that I've actually seen there's a slight slight curve to the end of the nib but all in all there hopefully you can see the nib so let's pop the nib back in screw it back on 
So all in all, the pen, although it's a good imitation or a good fake, it's very difficult to tell. Now, if we open it up, again, as it should do, it unscrews, and what you can see there is a converter. There's no, there's no indication whether it's actually a Parker converter, it's just simply a converter. Again, no doubt, a Chinese-made one. Okay, um, actually, let's see if the pen actually writes. So, what we'll actually do, we'll dip the... Okay, let's, all the way down to the bottom, and now we're unscrewing it. Okay, have we got any? Yeah, you can't see it, but, well, hopefully you can. Just to the bottom there, we've got a little bit of ink, which is what we want, just for... A writing sample and if I just get a little bit of tissue just bear with me let's move the ink to one side oh dear and I've got a great big blob on my paper there so let's get rid of that let's bring on a pad and let's see if it writes at all so what we have here is a Okay, so we've got a Parker, and this is the Sonnet, and okay, it's Sonnet, it's in the Tartan, <coughs> Tartan colour, and There we go, and last but not least, there. Um, unfortunately, another problem with this particular pen, well, it only writes in Chinese when you're actually writing with it, but what we'll actually do is do some squiggly lines. And in, actually, in actual fact, it's not actually... <laughs> It's not actually a bad writer, considering it's actually a fake. But, as I say, the problem with these particular pens, because of the Chinese fakes, as you can see, well, unfortunately, they only write in Chinese. So, let's pop that to one side. So there we have it. That is a Parker Sonnet Chisel Tartan, a GT. It's a Chinese fake. Incidentally, um, the date letter on the on the band there, I'm hoping you can see, uh, is sort of I I I Q, which dates this pen to 1990. Now, as far as I'm aware, these particular pens, well, th th this particular model didn't actually come out till around about 2003, I believe. Again, I'll be, I'll stand corrected on that. But all in all. The problem that you've actually got with these particular pens, and if I just go to the side here, there's another one in, well, what we term as matte black. Okay, so there's two Parker Sonnet fake pens. And just for your, just for your viewing pleasure, let's show you the nib on the, the black one. Again, all gold, no, no two-tone. And again, by looking at it close up, you can see that the quality is simply not there. And again, if we just show you the the caps there, the cap bands, and let's do a little twirl for both of them. So I'm hoping you can see that. Okay. So again, two fake Sonnet, par well, Parker Sonnet fountain pens. The problem that you've got with these particular pens is that they're very difficult to tell or to see by simply looking at a photograph. So you've got to beware. Um, I think the only thing you can do, just if you see one for sale, ask the, ask the seller if it's actually got Chinese writing on the back like so. Um, if it's got a, a little sticker to the side there, again, Chinese. But all in all, be very, very careful. They're very good fakes. Um, another thing, what people try and do to test the nib is to use a magnet and if it doesn't stick um, it's gold, if it sticks it's a metal nib. They've also, these people that do these fakes um, have now 
well what they actually do they use a metal which acts like gold in the in the in the way that if you use a magnet it won't stick but again I believe that the pens are just simply gold plated or they've got a gold sorry not the pens the nibs I've just simply got a gold wash to them so I believe they're just normal metal metal nibs they're not true Parker nibs so there we go so let's pop them on there so you can see them so beware when you're actually buying a Parker Sonnet online they're very very difficult to tell by looking at a photograph it's not till you see them close up that you can actually see that they're actually fakes you can feel that they're actually fakes and obviously as we showed you before by looking at the underside of this box you can actually see that there's plenty of Chinese writing um, but on the pens themselves they've actually got France and everything else as far as the the person that doesn't know what they're looking for looks totally genuine so be very very careful when you're buying a Parker Sonnet online. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a little bit of insight to these these fake Parker Sonnet pens. Um, if there's anything else that I've actually missed or anybody else um, can tell me how to spot the fakes or there's anything, as I say, that I've not shown you, leave a message. It'll be appreciated. But for now, don't forget I've got plenty more videos on my channel. Go and have a look. Leave a comment. But for now, I'll say be careful when you're buying. But for now, bye-bye.